hello chestnut class i thought it'd be nice for us to do a bit of a story each day so i have chosen a book fortunately the milk by neil gaiman and i thought it'd be nice each day if you could hear me read some to you just like we would do at the end of the day so i'm going to read the blurb so we get to know a bit about the story before I start reading. Mum's away, Dad's in charge. There's no milk. So Dad saves a day by going to buy some. Really, that's all that happens. Very boring. Yawn. There are absolutely none of the following things inside. Globby green aliens, intergalactic police, pirates. And most definitely not a time-travelling hot air balloon, piloted by the brilliant Professor Steg. So I'm going to read a few pages for you now. There was only orange juice in the fridge, nothing else that you could put on cereal, unless you think that ketchup or mayonnaise or pickle juice would be nice on your toastios, which I do not. And neither does my little sister, although she has eaten some pretty weird things in her day, like mushrooms in chocolate. She did not actually like them, and I did not tell her that they were mushrooms inside the chocolate. It was an experiment. So here's a little brother in the fridge. No milk, said my sister. Nope, I said, looking behind the jam in the fridge just in case. None at all. There's little sister, doesn't look very happy. Our mum had gone off to a conference. She was pre presenting a paper on lizards. Before she went, she reminded us of the important things that had to happen while she was away. There's his mum. My dad was reading the paper. I do not think he pays a lot of attention to the world while he is reading his paper. Did you hear me? asked my mum, who is suspicious. What did I say? Do not forget to take the kids to orchestra practice tomorrow. It's violin on Wednesday night. You've frozen a dinner for each night you're away and labelled them. The square house key is with the Nicholsons. The plumber will be here on Monday morning and do not use or flush the upstairs toilet until he's been. Feed the goldfish. You love us and you'll be back on Thursday, said my father. There he is reading the newspaper. I think my mum was surprised. Yes, that's right, she said. She kiss kissed us all. Then she said, Oh, and we're almost out of milk. You'll need to pick some up. After she went away, my dad had a cup of tea. There was still some milk left. We defrosted meal number one, but we made a bit of a mess of things. So we went to the Indian restaurant before we went to sleep. Dad made us mugs of hot chocolate to make up for the whole missing of mum. There she is going away. And there they are, eat, drinking their nice hot chocolate. That was last night. Now Dad c came into the kitchen. Eat your cereal, he said. Remember, it's orchestra practice this afternoon. We can't eat our cereal, said my sister sadly. I don't see why not, said my father. There she is, looking not very happy again. We've got plenty of cereal. There's toastios and there's muesli. We have bowls, we have spoons. Spoons are excellent, sort of like forks, only not as stabby. No milk, I said. No milk, said my sister. I watched my dad think about this. He looked like he was going to suggest that we have something for breakfast. You do not need milk for, like sausages. But then he like, But then he looked like he remembered that without milk, he couldn't have his tea. You had He had his no tea face on. You poor children, he said. I will walk down to the shop on the corner. I will get milk. Thank you, said my sister. Not skimmed, I told him. That stuff tastes like water. Right, said my dad. Not skimmed. He went out. I poured some toastios into a bowl. I stared at them. I waited. There is him waiting. They're the things he does when he's waiting. And we are going to stop there. I will be back tomorrow with another video so we can carry on our story. See you tomorrow.